What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's the Dan Tigra. Thank you for another show. We have a very special episode today. We are on our Draconis, and what we are trying to do is I want to show you fine, beautiful people that play this game that if you're having a hard time getting a certain class, I'm going to show you what I ended up doing to be able to have pretty much everything out of the store anything that costs cubits we have and now we are actually just getting even more cubits because i can't justify spending 5,000 cubits on the style surprise so what you're gonna end up doing is you're going to end up just getting on whatever your most powerful class is which is our draconis right now and we can already handle you five but for the sake of this video we're gonna be going to you one um i want to also point out let's go i want to also point out that the lower the dungeon area like doesn't make a difference as far as your daily experience is concerned if you are in a novice area and complete a dungeon you are going to get just as much experience points as you would if you are in a u5 area so what we're gonna end up doing oh my goodness we're gonna get unlucky aren't we is uh instead of the usual like go for dungeons and stuff like that I, well i mean our usual craziness instead you just got Get yourself familiar with the dungeons and then ignore the enemies. That's pretty much it. Like, all I would say is you just ignore the enemies and you rush the bosses. You can also, to make things even more efficient as far as time is concerned, uh, what you could do, although it, I wouldn't recommend it because it's always still a good idea to grab all the items and stuff, is technically we could already just take the portal out and never mind the chest at the end. But we're still gonna go for the chest, of course. I don't think we have much jump on this guy. Yeah, we only have three, so jumping dungeons are not recommended. Uh, but I think it looks like, yeah, this guy's already in here, so we can just do the gangster way of completing this dungeon and wait for him to complete it. And in that case, there we go. Got some more daily. We just run for it and never mind. Uh, the world's taking a little bit to load in too, so that usually sucks when that happens. But uh, another thing too is when you're in a high dungeon like that, you can use the time that someone is inside the dungeon to be more efficient and give yourself time to climb it more uh, so that you can get kind of higher up because if you're high enough, you can end up doing something like this where we got to just fly straight to this dungeon and never mind it. Give me the weird trident. And sometimes you'll get really lucky and upon completing a dungeon, it'll just like complete like almost instantaneously. Where was it? There it is. Sometimes you'll complete a dungeon and you'll be sitting there waiting, 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 waiting for it to actually complete. And then other times you'll get like we just did back there where it just completes almost instantly. And if you're doing this, like so long as you know, you can just be in the early areas that would actually go even faster. So if you are worried about time, you definitely want to do that. But as far as like dungeons are concerned, all this daily stuff, like it's like, I get a lot of people saying that they can't keep up with all their dailies. We're actually getting pretty unlucky with all these dungeons being really high up and not having much jump on this character. Uh, but ultimately, I mean, so long as you're just rushing dungeons and just rush the boss and never mind anything else, pretty much it just takes about five minutes. So what I was doing really early on before this series kind of took off the way it did, you know, I mean, I was still doing daily videos and stuff like that and then they kind of slowed down for a bit and then they came back. Uh, but what I was doing in the meantime, in whenever I found myself very busy with other series and just all sorts of other things in real life and yada 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 i would end up just doing this because it just goes by so so quick normally i would say on average like i'm trying to kind of do a speed run i guess right now uh but like i said we're getting a little bit unlucky you can actually get this done in like five minutes or under uh, usually the average though is it would take my goodness when it's not lagging like this normally it would take like uh maybe five to eight minutes or something but also even more so like it doesn't take that long at all now especially when uh like now the dungeons are 10 times more common and also a three-star dungeon depending on the three-star dungeon can usually be really good uh one thing that i think trove should definitely have they need an update for it but they're not going to is like this dungeon right here that we're in it says it's a one star this is actually a two star dungeon because if you go into a three star dungeon and i know that this is probably not going to make any sense but if you go into a three star dungeon there is the three star boss and the enemies that are in it that are a one star they're actually even weaker than an average dungeon so that's why i think like these 
normal dungeons should be two stars and then three stars should have two one star boss and one three star boss <laughs> i don't know if i'm making much sense i really hope that i'm getting my point across but either way as you can see uh we just went over five minutes at least according to my timer here and already we're almost there we're only gonna need one more dungeon after this so hey whatever uh pretty close though overall uh, like I think I think it's actually kind of fun like sometimes I just try and do like do the daily quest like as fast as I can just because why not see and then when we get crap like this with all the rubber banding and stuff that's usually when it gets annoying especially when you're trying to do something really really fast but for the most part that's it ladies and gentlemen this is just a short episode today to just show you that is how you fill the star bar very very quickly if you do not have time to come on trove every day so and actually like play it every day so what you want to do is just come on make sure that you come on every day just so you can get the star bar just the star bar because then you you'll notice like in a week or something you'll be able to buy like all sorts of new things and stuff like that so anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video helpful if you did i would appreciate it if you would smack that like button share favorite and subscribe to join team pixel sign on stay epic everybody Believe in yourself don't care